Our long-awaited tutorial is finally here. In today's video, I'll be teaching us all how to create beading pattern on illusion or skin tone net. If you'll be interested in knowing all about this, please make sure you watch this entire video. I shared five different beading patterns. Please ensure you like the video if you enjoyed watching, which I'm sure you would. Share this video with your friend, subscribe if you're yet to, and leave me comments down in the comment section. Let's get started. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm here finally with the highly requested tutorial on how to bead on net. I finally got my tambour ring. All right, so this is the tambour ring. I got it off of AliExpress. I do not have a link, all right? But I'll see, I'll see if I can log into my AliExpress account and see if I can get the link. However, in case I can't get the link, just type tambour ring on your AliExpress app or your Amazon or your Conga, Jumia, wherever you like to shop from, depending on your location. Type it on there and get it. If you also are able to find from your local markets, because I put a survey a couple of weeks back where I asked you guys where you guys like to buy your sewing accessories and tools from and the highest percentage of us mentioned that we like or we voted that we like to buy from local markets so if you're able to find this in a local market feel free to take a screenshot it usually comes like this is like inserted in each other this is how it's sold take a screenshot ask your vendors if they sell for the people out here in portacourt i do not know if my vendors typically sell here however you can call them up ask them i've shared a market vlog on here where i put their contact details i'll see if i can link those videos on the screen Call them and ask if they have tambouring. Anyway, enough of the chat about tambouring. So, when you want to bid on net, you can either place your outfit, okay? So, if you've already sewn the outfit, you can place it on your dress form and bid on the dress form. If you're also the type of person that is running a fashion house where you have people that stand, you wear the outfit on them, they stand and you bid on the person or the owner of the dress, do whatever works for you. But tambourings are better for people that are trying to make custom beaded items okay you can put your regular fabric into the tambour ring you can put your nets into the tambour ring you can put your felt you can put whatever fabric it is that you're trying to bead on into your tambour ring and then bead so this is just a regular hard net okay not the skin tone net i'm trying to manage that my skin tone nets because it's not cheap so i'm using a regular net for the sake of this video and what i'm doing now is i'm just inserting this my second piece into the ring like so and this is where i'm going to be beading this portion out here okay so this center point here depending on the style of beading you want to make this this screw here is to help you tighten up the ring okay so that whatever you've secured at this point stays perfectly secured and you're able to work without issues because if it's loose this thing might be popping out here and there but by the time you tighten it up by rolling this screw here it stays put and you are able to bead all right so i don't know what i want to bead here there are so many different things that you can bead on this type of thing i'm going to come with so many more tutorials different beading patterns using net using satin using different types of fabric that's why it's important for you to subscribe to the channel for the sake of today's video i'm just going to do like a simple beading pattern on this hour net fabric just to give us an idea this is like the beginner stage of the upcoming tutorials that you guys should look out for on the channel so this is my fabric pencil okay i got this as well off of aliexpress this pencil is something that you can use to make markings on your outfits that you're trying to bid on people like vicky james and all those other you know luxury designers they use this in bidding if you watch a lot of their insta stories and insta reels you see them using these things in their video i watch all those people i stalk their pages because they are like mentors to me from afar you don't have to talk to the person directly for them to be your mentor right you can watch them and just copy some things from well not copy sounds very weird but for lack of a better word copy okay replicate what they do and inculcate it into your own style and business anyway this is my fabric pencil so i'm just going to make like a cute little marking on this piece of net i hope it's telling on camera what i'm doing so i'm just going to do something like a spiral shape okay and then i'm going to bead along those shapes that i'm drawing Let's just say something like this. I'm pretty sure it's showing on camera. I can just do a straight line at this bottom here. All right. 
then I'm going to grab my needle and thread, my beading needle. I'm using the beading needle in size, I believe it's 11. All right, use any size of beading needle that you like and any type of bead that you like because this is just for tutorial purpose. I'm not going to do too much, okay? If you're beading on the proper outfits, do the needful, use the right color of thread, use the right color of bead, depending on the style that you're going for. I want to just grab my beads real quick. So I'm going to be using my cut cut bead in color black. I'm going to just pour it real quick into this little bowl that I have here really really quickly all right so this is my cut cut bead out here in color black all right so as usual you pass your needle from the bottom like so all right and then I think I'm going to do the straight beading pattern I'm going to do so many different ones okay so let's just watch Can we see the way I passed my needle? I didn't allow it go in because I get questions from comment section where people ask, oh, when you are sewing on outfits, you don't want the needle to get to the lining. Honestly, people don't watch videos to the end because if you watch videos to the end, you've heard me talk about this. I'm aware of the fact that some people do not like to sew their or bead their outfits in such a way that the beading shows on the inner part. So when you don't want your beading to show on the inner part, this is how you are just going to pass your needle like you just pass it through and bring it back out in such a way that the needle does not pass into the lining because i'm working with net you can't you can't but have your needle show inside your net because except you are doubling the net okay if you're using a double net some people double up their net because i'm using just a single piece of net my thread is going to show so that's why you need to use for this when working on nets generally i advise that people use invisible thread for those that don't know what invisible thread looks like i'm going to show us because i'm aware of the fact that some people this is their first time ever coming to my channel so this is what we call invisible thread okay it comes in different colors this is a clear one and this is a black one if i was doing this on an outfit if i'm doing this beading pattern for an outfit i would use this clear one so that when i'm beading my thread is not showing on the net and my work looks neat, okay? But because this is just for illustration and I need what I'm doing to show clearly on camera, that's why I'm using a black thread. So I'm just going to pass this needle backwards like so, bring it back out. And then pass it through these two. Like so. And make sure you're pulling securely on your and then pick about four broken glass beads again pass it through like so bring it back a little bit and then pass it inwards again How did my thread just cut like that? Can you imagine? This part of the downsides of beading. <laughs> so I have to start all over again, but I hope we get the gist. I'm going to do this same thing, bead all the way downward. My thread just cut. I don't know what happened. It must have gotten weak. So I'm just going to bead all the way through and then come back to show us what I did. I decided to use the size 11 beading needle and invisible thread because I just wanted to just illustrate again properly for us. Just so there's no confusion in this entire process. So I'm threading my needle. Threading your beading needle with invisible thread is like so easy because invisible thread is so thin. So it passes through any size of needle easily. If you've, if you've had to thread your regular polyester thread or fishing line through your... Even fishing line is relatively easy. Threading your beading needle with polyester thread is an extreme spot. Like, it's so stressful. It's achievable, but it's stressful. Now that I've threaded my needle, this is what we have here. I hope we can see. Yeah. So, we'll start the entire process again. I was going to do it off camera, but just so we all get the gist, I'm going to do it on camera. Okay. Pick up about four broken glass beads like what we have here pass it through
all right guys so this is what the first one looks like it's just like a straight beading pattern on this piece of you know curve like thing that i drew i hope we all got the gist so i'm going to do another beading pattern on the other spiral i'm just going to knot up my thread one more time you see how the inner part looks so neat with this invisible thread everything looks put together if I had used maybe like my polyester thread or something, it might not necessarily look as neat as that. And because we are working with net, you want to make your beading as neat as possible just so it all looks put together at the end of the day, right? Okay. So I'm just going to pass my needle somewhere at this center point again. Like so. Pick up about three pieces of beads. Okay, I have three pieces of bead right here. Please take note that your choice of bead is your call. You don't have to use the same type of bead that I'm using. I just chose to use this broken glass bead because that was what I was feeling. I picked three more. I started with three and I'm going to keep up with that number till I get to the end of the spiral that I drew. I don't know if that spiral, I believe it's showing on camera. I really hope that you guys can see so me now I chose to do spiral you can do yours you can just do straight lines on your net you can even do single 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 dots and bead on those dots there's no limits to how creative you can get with this and I hope we are taking note of the way I'm passing my needle I've gotten some of us complaining about the fact that I use felt for my beading tutorial so this is me spicing things up I hope we like the spice. If you like the spice, if you made it up to this point in this tutorial, type spice in the comment section. This is a test. I want to know how many of you watch my videos up to a significant point. So type spice in the comments so I know you made it up to this point. So I hope we are seeing how I'm passing my beads. I said passing my beads, passing my needle and thread through the net. Working with invisible thread is a is it's an extreme spot, I should say that. It's pretty stressful to work with, but the end result is very satisfying. So it will be worth the stress. I hope we can see what we already have here. This is what I'm bidding. All right, guys, so this is what this other beading pattern looks like. All right, and this is what the inner part looks like. We see that the invisible thread looks way neater. All right, so here I'm just going to see if I could use, let me use, um, what's it called now? Let me use sequence for the other portion, just so we know that there's no limits to what we can do with nets, okay? So, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead to use a particular piece of needle and thread that I've already threaded. I want this video to move really, really quickly. I'm not using invisible thread for this one. Remember, this is just a tutorial. Please do something very neat when working on a client's cloth or your own cloth as well. I'm just going to pick up one piece of sequin, like so. 
then pass it into the dress like so bring it back out that's another sequin like so still following these spirals that I drew on my net out for this work I will highly recommend you use invisible thread again when beading on net it's neater to use invisible thread in my opinion let me just state it again because somebody might come to the comment section and say oh no you can use any thread you like absolutely but personally i like to use invisible thread on net and recently of recent i've been getting questions from people saying oh can you make an outfit for me can you bid clothes for me at the moment because i'm running a one-man show for now i don't have help Taking on customers orders might be a bit <laughs> difficult for me. So no, I won't be able to bid outfits for people for now. Also, I get people saying, oh, can you make this same dress for me? Please take note that most times when you see me putting clothes on my thumbnail or at the intro of my video, those are just the inspiration of the tutorial, right? They are. I like to just share, oh, this is what I saw that made me want to film this video for you guys. It doesn't mean I'm the one that made it. I always, always put the name of the owner of the video, okay? The people that designed the outfit, I put their name. Please pay close attention. Those, most of those um, videos are not mine. I always tag the owner and reference them in my videos, okay? So just FYI, I'm not taking on clients bidding jobs i still take clients orders for fascinators okay if you want to make a headpiece i can run that all by myself but for bidding mm -mm. i only bid outfits for myself at the moment i don't bid for customers just yet all right i just thought to point that out there i'm going to just move through this real quick can we see what i'm doing this is what the sequence portion looks like on the net Voila guys, this is what we have here. Okay, still on our net matter. And even with the inner parts, we see that it still looks pretty decent, even though I used polyester thread. I need to screw this my tambour ring in properly. It's giving me a little bit of issue. And to screw it, this is what I'm using. It came with my overlock machine. Another piece of item I'd like to also show us how to use on net is also our rose monties. This is what my rose monty looks like. I'm just going to knot up my thread again. So we see. If we still have questions for me, please, as usual, feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer you.
for this one i'm picking up just one bead this is just how to you know i'll see if i can put an inspiration on the screen those kind of outfits where you just see them like beading single beads beads all over to just give like a particular type of vibe at the end of the day this is how you go about it again i advise you use invisible thread can you see how my polyester thread is picking inside that's tacky so for this type of beading pattern use your invisible thread okay so that the end result looks neat so you are just passing your i've already done two now these are two beads here so again i'm going to go in one more time like so pick up one single seed bead crystal bead rose monty whatever it is you want to use feel free to use it and then just slightly pass your needle and thread through and bring it back out like i just did just a little bit and then pass it in between the thread like so like you're trying to knot your stitch i hope everything i said makes sense can we see what we have here we have three already again go in one more time come out somewhere here this is just an illustration however you want your pattern to be pass one single bead through and then pass it again lightly in between the nets and then knot it up can we see what we have here if we want me to do another tutorial just going in depth with this beading pattern let me know down in the comments and i'll work something out for us i hope we all got the gist of beading on nets if we did please hit the like button and drop me a comment telling me the favorite part your favorite part of this particular tutorial if there's anything you would like me to maybe show again or do better in another upcoming tutorial please drop it down in the comment section this is how you typically go about achieving tambour style beading on net or any type of fabric that you choose to do this is what it looks like and this is what the inner part looks like these places where you can see thread are the places where i used polyester thread for and these other places that look neat are the places where i used invisible thread so i hope we all enjoyed this video if we did please gas me up by hitting the like button okay that way i know that you guys enjoyed watching and i'll be really really happy okay please 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 smash the like button also if you're not subscribed girl what are you waiting for it's fun is educative on here i share videos about sewing fashion design and beading on here on my channel so please do well to join us also if you know someone that would like this type of tutorial please share this video with them it would mean a lot to me thank you guys so much again for your time and your patience thank you for watching and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another tutorial very very soon bye